Okay, I think I've procrastinated enough this morning. I should have done this at 4.30 instead of now almost 8.30, but it is what it is. Um, I've been going through it a little bit mentally lately, so whatever. Today we are tackling a few things. Well, a couple things. Um, we are tackling this mess this mess oh i don't even know what this looks like this mess in here um and depending on how long all that takes we're probably also going to deal with this mess i need to clean this out it's a mess it's a disaster we have this lock on here because Luca learned how to open it and he likes to throw the glass bottles everywhere, so. Alright, short and sweet intro and to the point. I'm going to get y'all set up on a tripod and we're going to get started clearing out the cabinets and stacking it all on this counter right here. Um, I'm going to try and get an angle where you can see me doing both of those things, but we'll see. Y'all will notice I'm probably going to end up throwing a lot away. That's because there's a lot of open bags of chips, a lot of things that have been in this cabinet for way too long probably expired it is what it is all right let me get you on the tripod
go, Katie. This is what we've got out of the three cabinets. So we've got bread, we've got my open vinegars, and then this is my mineral oil for treating my wood spoons and my wooden cutting board. These are all my powder mixes. I know this looks like a hot mess, but it's pasta, breakfast stuff, bulk like rice and leftover rice and beans and stuff. That's our sweet treats. My husband's granola back there is like peanut butter, Nutella, honey, things like that. Um, our canned goods, granola bars. These are my husband's uh, keto-friendly brownie things. Whoops. We got some water packets down there, some saltine crackers. This needs to go over here with all this stuff. This is like all of our side stuff that we have. So like some instant potatoes, some rice, some au gratin potatoes. And then the rest of this right here is all like snackage, chicken broth. And these are all like my, like my oriental oils that I don't use on a regular basis. And then some like extra things, my bulk salt, some extra cornbread. That ham wasn't in my cabinets. It's thawing out for dinner, so that wasn't in there. Um, I feel like I'm missing a box of Triscuits that I bought in my last grocery haul, and I can't find them. Oh, well. All right, so now I'm going to sit y'all kind of like this as I decide how we're going to reorganize it. And actually, I'm going to pause you because I'm going to go get some other organization bins. All right. I'm going to start by putting all of my bulk and things I don't use on a regular basis back in this cabinet. over here and we need to decide how we're going to organize this back so for starters we need a snack bin and this is the way I like to do it y'all may disagree I like to have a bin with snacks that the kids can have and a bin with snacks that the kids can't have Yes, that sounds absolutely awful. Why wouldn't I let my kids have these snacks? Sometimes as parents, we buy things just for ourselves that we don't want our kids to just have access to 24 seven. And then there are snacks you buy your kids that they can eat when they want a snack. And that's just the way we do it. So we've got some fruit snacks.
Okay, here's the finished product. Is it perfectly organized? No. But it is better than it was. We emptied out one whole bin and one whole shelf completely empty. Okay, now this is the one that's not as organized as it could be. But it's better than it was. All right, that's gonna be it for me today. I was gonna do the refrigerator in the same video, but this video is already gonna be, like there's already like 45 minutes worth of footage or more. So I'm gonna separate them up. You'll get this video first and then next. So it's Wednesday for me. You're gonna get this video tomorrow on Thursday. And then next Thursday, you will get the refrigerator clean out video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope there wasn't too much judgment with how much crap I needed to get rid of and how cluttered it was and all of that. But anyways, I love you guys. I'm praying for you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.